Now to a hidden danger lurking underground, completely invisible to the naked eye. There could be thousands of sites across the state. New at six, what's being called a turning point in protecting our environment here in Michigan. The state is working to track and clean up contaminated sites dating as far back as 100 years. A mysterious chemical spill in Flat Rock recently shined a light on the problem that could be in many communities underground storage tanks, long forgotten and possibly leaking. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shekhead investigates what's being done to protect families from potential exposure. They're commonly called legacy tanks, having stored fuel and other chemicals underground prior to current regulations. Yet today, their volume and environmental impact has experts deeply troubled. We'll just be concerned with it getting into our drinking water and, um, you know, kids outside. And As a mother of young kids, Samantha Lyon is one of many parents closely watching over environmental concerns here in Flat Rock and statewide. When a lot of this predates the modern regulations, what do you want to see happen now? Well, I, I don't know how to locate them, but we have to find them and we have to clean them up. As we've been reporting, a pair of steel tanks buried under flat rock metal are believed to be the source of a recent fuel leak spotted by a fisherman in a tributary to the Huron River. The tanks, which immediately sparked a swift containment and cleanup effort, along with a park closure, now identified as part of a larger issue in Michigan. Roughly 8,000 aging, leaky underground storage tanks and far more contaminated sites, according to the state. Is the situation in Flat Rock really just the tip of the iceberg here in Michigan? Well, the 24,000 uh, contaminated sites, uh, we've got 8,000 leaky under store, uh, underground storage tanks. If there's a property transaction and that property owner knows about contamination on that site, they are legally required to disclose that. Jill Greenberg with Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, pointing to a need for more funding to address a large gap in keeping track of unregistered sites like Flat Rock. State leaders also see a current budget of $163 million falling short of what's needed and acknowledge tanks as much as 100 years old were often left by companies no longer in business. What more can be done? to keep better track of these tanks and to prevent this from happening in the future. We record everything, we put it in properly, we keep track of it. Other leaders at the state and federal level agree it's an urgent crisis that simply can't wait and say it's the type of issue infrastructure dollars must be used for. In a statement just received from Eagle, a spokesperson adds, quote, Eagle inherited an outdated IT system that heavily relied on paper records. We're in the process of upgrading our system, and that will allow us to categorize, cross-reference, and track the contaminated properties we know about. We have a moment right now where we have historic levels in our budget. So we should be spending historic levels of money investing in our infrastructure, cleaning up these toxic sites. In the case of Flat Rock, those tanks were 100 years old and nobody had a record of them. I'm sure that there's situations like that all over the state. The state's Office of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs is also working with Eagle to address this matter. At this point, the state remains focused on holding current property owners accountable, regardless of how old those tanks may be. That said, what's been discovered is continuing to drive important conversation about how best to move forward. From Flat Rock, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon.